We are starting flooring today. I'm gonna get as far as I can. We've got things outside of this to do tomorrow and hopefully between tonight, tomorrow night, we can get the floor completely done. And then on uh, the next day that we work, we are hoping to get the beds in and get that completed. Flooring, I am just doing sticky tile. I'm not gonna bore you with the entire process of this flooring, but I'll show you a little bit. So just keep watching. Probably gonna put beds in this video too. So don't go anywhere. You're gonna wanna see how we do our beds. Let's go. Time to grind, get inside your mind. Yeah, we working overtime. That's the only way to climb. We gon' make it in our prime. Signing on the dotted line, cashing checks left and right. That's the way I'm living life. Uh, I feel alive when I got a goal in sight. Chip away, I gotta fight. Ain't nobody else in sight. Man, I think I see the light. Yeah, that shit is so bright. Follow me, I got the God. See you on the other side, son. Ain't nobody know what I've been through. Ain't nobody know what I can do I'm ready to go into battle I'll put on a show, razzle dazzle I'm about to take off Never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top yeah. Oh, I'm about to take off Never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top yeah. So get out my way, I'm here to stay You can try it We got all the whole pieces in. They're done. They're on the floor. They are stuffed down. Now we got to start doing the cutting. Let me just uh, flip this around and I'll show you the whole pieces. Now I'll just come back here and kind of show you the from the front or towards the front. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? I think it looks pretty nice. I was hesitant on that gray, but I wanted something that would kind of help keep it light in here. I didn't want to go with a real dark color. I think it looks pretty good. So now we got to start doing all that, and I'm going to go across the front first. I'm a vet, cause I work with every breath. Man, I love the taste of sweat. I won't have any regrets. Oh. They get upset when they trying just to rest And I'm still right at my desk Make them all feel so pressed Yeah, but that's the test If you want to be the best It ain't easy, it's a mess If you want to have success You keep going like possessed Got that corner done Doesn't look too bad There's a little bit of a gap in one of them Looking through the camera screen here I can't see it, but I know where it is, so it'll probably drive me crazy forever, but that's fine. Hopefully the rug will cover it. Right? Right. <laughs> he don't care. <laughs> Deep into your chest Every failure is a test Learn the most Leave the rest Ain't nobody know what I've been through Ain't nobody know what I can do I'm ready to go into battle I'll put on a show razzle dazzle I'm about to take off Never gonna stop Till I'm chilling at the top yeah. No, I'm about to take off it's all done. Thank goodness. How many hours did that take? About four. About four hours to do it all. Now you can see there's some gaps. But we've got trim to do. We're just not going to do that. I got my curtains back up. I'm using my same curtains because I liked those. I made those out of pillow shams. Just so you know. In case you hadn't seen that in a video before. There it is. I think it looks pretty darn good. We've got a runner for the door and we've got trim to go along the edges and the back edge too. I don't know, I think it looks pretty nice. I think it goes good with all our other colors. 
Look, 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 look. Look what I did. Yep, I got curtains. Now, I ordered those off of Amazon and I ordered 30 inch curtains. I got 36 inch curtains. I hate to sew, but I sewed them anyway and sewed up the bottoms and I made it where there's a rod across both. And if you can go over there and kind of show them. So it'll pull, yeah, we'll have, it'll open both sides and I gotta get something to just kind of like tie, when, tie it open when we are using the air conditioner. Otherwise it just kind of flops closed. But I think that looked pretty good. It goes well with the refrigerator, the countertop. I think it ties in pretty nicely. I'm not extremely excited about the fact that it's kind of that satiny. What is that? I don't know what they call It's not real, really satin, I don't think. It's that fake stuff. Because that collects things. So I don't know. If, if it starts to be too big of a pain or a hassle, then I'll just get something different for it but right now I think it looks pretty good I kind of like it like that it hides it don't need to see that air conditioner when it's 20 degrees outside right right all right we are gonna take a break and when we come back we'll probably do trim trim and then beds yeah. right yep. yep so hang around we'll be back in a little bit Time to grind, get inside your mind. Yeah, we working overtime. That's the only way to climb. We gon' make it in our prime. Signing on the dotted line, cashing checks left and right. That's the way I'm living life. Uh, I feel alive when I got a goal in sight. Chip away, I gotta fight. Ain't nobody else in sight. Man, I think I see the light. Yeah, that shit is so bright. Follow me, I got the guide. See you on the other side, son. Ain't nobody know what I've been through. Ain't nobody know what I can do. I'm ready to go in the battle. I'll put on show. What the? What? This is hard work. I needed a break. I swear. Dazzle, dazzle. I'm about to take off. Never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top. I'm about to take off Never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top, yeah So get out my way I'm here to stay You can try another day, yeah Cause I love the taste of Winning the way strong metal Okay, we got legs This is Jesse's bed <laughs> And we are actually gonna brace these legs With some little, uh, what do you call it? Corner braces, I guess you call these that way we just have a little bit more sturdiness because we don't we don't want want any wobble we want don't want him to be you know wobbling off in the floor because the bed collapses and things so we're gonna snug these up a little bit then we need to well i guess we need to make we're gonna do like some enclosures on the ends of these and then we got some more painting, unfortunately, to do, but I won't bore you with the painting part. I'm a vet, cause I work with every breath. Man, I love the taste of sweat. I won't have any regrets. Oh. They get upset when they trying just to rest And I'm still right at my desk Make them all feel so pressed Yeah, but that's the test If you want to be the best It ain't easy, it's a mess If you want to have success You keep going like possessed First off, I'm going to tell you We didn't put the braces in We did do that We took off, through, what, four inches off the legs I believe I miscalculated some or something because when we stood it on the floor, we were kind of like, that looks awfully tall, you know, and it was kind of a, we'd have to run and jump to get in to the bed or, and or sitting area. This is going to double as our sofa too. So 
this can be a TV watching area. You'll see when we get it. We'll, we'll show you when we're putting it all in. So right now, this part is going to be exposed, this end, if the cargo ramp is down, which if all goes well and the way we are hoping to do it, we'll be able to actually use our cargo ramp for cargo. I want to use it for my scooter. Rather than trying to squeeze it in and out the little side door, we could actually use the ramp like you're supposed to do. And then this is going to show, and this is going to be storage under here, so I prefer it to not really, like, just, you know, hey, look what's under here kind of thing. Well, we're going down the road and it's all And it out. all comes out. That's another thing. I don't want it slide, anything sliding out. So we're going to put some barriers. Now, that end over there is going to be the end that you would see if you walk into our little front side door. So that one's going to be done a little bit differently because I want it to be a little fancier. This one, we, did, we didn't really have enough of that fancy wood to do this end. So he is like, hey, what about this? So we're going to use these boards that actually were parts of my original bed. And we're just going to put them along here. We've only got three left, unfortunately, because we did use a couple for, for this part of the bed. But we're just going to space them, kind of give it that crate look, I guess. And it'll keep things in and it'll kind of mask what's underneath there it'll add some support yeah and it'll add support to the bed which is always a good thing deep into your chest every failure is a test learn the most leave the rest ain't nobody know what i've been through ain't nobody know what i can't do i'm ready to go into battle i'll put on a show as a dazzle I'm about to take off, never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top. Yeah. No, I'm about to take off, never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top. Yeah. We've got his bed, all the parts painted that are gonna show. We're not gonna paint everything because if you can't see it, what's the point? Now we're gonna work on my bed. Now, if you saw what? A video or two ago, I don't remember now. Uh, we had already painted the platform of my bed. What we are going to do is we are going to attach that platform to poles. And then we're going to make little braces, brackets, whatever you want to call it, to put on the walls of the cargo trailer and these will fit down in it. The point of this was kind of a space saver because all the lumber that we use to build my bed, you know, just the lumber taking up tons of space. So this is gonna combine this down into like this much, very little. Then of course I'll have my bedding on top of it, but we're also gonna raise this up in the camper too. So, you know, have the thinner it is, the better it is, all that good stuff. We gotta, this is, one and a quarter inch conduit is what we're using. Now, I got this idea basically off of Gone Again's channel, who also has a converted cargo trailer. And he did this only with conduit, only he had like a canvas cot type bedding or, yeah, it's kind of almost like a hammock slash cot. And he used these poles like this to attach that too. Well, I'm not going to do the canvas thing, mainly because I, I don't like to sew and I probably don't really have the necessarily maybe the appropriate machine to sew it on. Plus, I didn't even know where to get canvas from anyway. I don't have anybody around here. We are going to cut these poles. We're going to cut them just a smidge shorter than what, they, what the wall spacing is from side to side in the cargo trailer, which is 69 inches. So we're gonna cut these at 68 and a half inches. And when he makes the braces for the sides for the poles to go into, it may give just a teensy bit of play, but they won't fall out. But it's enough to slide, but it's them. Enough to slide them in and out. So
time to grind get inside your mind yeah we working over time that's the only way to climb we gonna make it in our prime signing on the dotted line cashing checks left and right that's the way i'm living life uh i feel alive when i got a goal in sight chip away i gotta fight ain't nobody else in sight man i think i see the light yeah that shit is so bright follow me i got the guide see you on the other side son Ain't nobody know what I've been through. Ain't nobody know what I can't do. I'm ready to go in the battle. I'll put on a show, razzle dazzle. I'm about to take off. Never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top. Yeah. Oh, I'm about to take off. Never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top. Yeah. Well, as you saw, we got Jesse's bed in, and this is going to be, this is mine, I'm sitting on top, but his bed is going to double as our sofa area, so that's kind of cool, because we haven't had one of those, so that was one of the things with this rebuild we really wanted to incorporate in was to have a place to sit because it was kind of inconvenient to have to set up a camping chair or whatever and then I always had to lay in my bed to watch TV and sometimes I don't want to be laying down sometimes I want to be sitting up so that is so cool and look at all the storage space underneath there this was how high off the ground baby 20 uh, 20 24 oh okay so you know 20 24 inches off the ground and so yeah i have got so much more storage space than i ever had under his bunk before which was only maybe 10 inches yeah. if that off the ground so or off the floor so yeah so that's that's going to be really cool and i do have a plan for the front of this so that stuff don't come swooshing out and you know i know it was all on fast play and all that good stuff but all he did was screw the legs that we put on it to the wall so it's nice and secure it ain't going nowhere now we are going to take our fancy little brackets that we made for my bed and the poles fit right down in here and we are going to put those on the walls and get my bed installed Man, I love the taste of sweat. I won't have any regrets. Uh, they get upset when they try and just to rest. And I'm still right at my desk. Make them all feel so pressed. Yeah, but that's the test. If you want to be the best, it ain't easy. It's a mess. If you want to have success, you keep going like possessed. Drive it deep into your chest. Every failure is a test. Learn the most. Leave the rest. Ain't nobody know what I've been through. Ain't nobody know what I can do. I'm ready to go in the battle. I'll put on a show, razzle dazzle. I'm about to take off. Never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top. Yeah. No, I'm about to take off. Never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top. Yeah. So get out. In order to keep the bed platform from either popping out while we're in transit or my biggest concern would be I'm trying to climb up in it and the back end flips up because I put my weight on the front. I don't want to do that. So we're going to put, we're going to use this metal banding stuff and he's going to basically create a I don't know. Catch. Kind of, yeah, it's just going to go right across the pole and on both back sides. We think that'll be sufficient. We don't really need to do the fronts. It's actually set. We made the little loop de doos for it pretty darn close to the pole size. So, I mean, it's like 
<laughs> wedged in there. But you know, as well as we do, when you travel, things tend to shift and move. Sometimes it don't matter how snug they are. So I just don't want this to pop out while we're moving. And I, like I said, I really don't want it to pop out while I'm trying to get into it. You know, if we are moving and it kind of comes loose and I don't realize that and I'm climbing up in it, you know, and then there I go laying out on the floor and poor Darby. Yeah, squishing the dog and whatever else. Well, that was our bed set up. I hope we showed that to you well enough. I mean, you know, we try we tried to show you the most the major part of the details, things that you might need or want to know if you were building your own. If we missed anything, you know, feel free to leave us a comment, ask us a question, we'll try to answer it as best we can, or point you in the direction of somebody maybe that could. Um, we are basically, we're done with this, the beds. We're not going to put our bedding and stuff in here because we still have a little bit left to do. We've got some things that we want to do on the walls and we've still got a little bit of furniture stuff to add in here so go ahead hit that subscribe and that little ringy belly thingy and make sure that you stick around come back we got more to do on this rebuild mm -hmm.